We know that oxygen and glucose is important to keep us alive. Oxygen from the air and glucose from the carbohydrates we eat. La croissant. However, when we don't eat, how do we stay alive? Well, this is an important role of glycogen, turning into glucose. Wait, wait, wait. But how do we know this? Let's go back in time to the 12th of July, 1813. An important man known as Claude Bernard was born. Initially, Claude Bernard wanted to be a playwright for theatres and wrote a five-act tragedy. Surprisingly, his professor at the Poetry Institute told him to enrol in medical school. Upon arriving, Bernard was anything but a brilliant pupil and his peers suspected him as being lazy. Despite this, his path was marked out. Due to the teaching of his master known as Megendi, he was taught to criticise his own discoveries, which led to a creative impression on Bernard. This led to 1846, a crucial breakthrough in his life. He brought rabbits from the market and they ended up urinating all over the lab table. <laughs> Gross, I know. But he noticed something. The urine was acidic and clear. The same type of urine if it had come from carnivores, but the opposite for herbivores. Alkaline and cloudy. So how come rabbits don't eat meat? Peter Rabbit eats carrots. He found out that the rabbits on the market were barely eating at all. Due to this, it creates a new outlook on his experimentation. In 1855, he discovered the reason. Upon looking at the liver of a dog, he found out that the hepatic vein contained a lot of glucose. However, there was no glucose to be found in the stomach and the portal vein. It seemed that all the glucose had left the liver. Hence, the liver had a function, storing glycogen, acting like a food storage for our cells and disposing it slowly. But what makes this discovery more remarkable is that Claw never followed the status quo, helping to shine new ideas on scientific research. This is all because of his constant doubts that allowed him to experiment without fear of failure. So, remember, it's okay to have those doubts because you'll always be on a path of new ideas.